compact crossovers are a license to print money, and the 2018 Toyota CHR will no doubt benefit from that trend. It was originally meant to be Sign's savior, but then Sign folded, and this failed date with Destiny sets the CHR apart from other Toyota crossovers. It comes in two trims with zero available options and, most notably for a crossover, no all-wheel drive. Not since the introduction of the Nissan Juke nearly seven years ago has a compact placed such an emphasis on styling over customization and usability, but even the Juke can send power to all four wheels. Some will see it as a compromise, others won't care. Most signs were mono-spec vehicles, leaving a bar to choose an exterior color and a transmission. Sure, dealers offered a number of optional accessories like lights, wheels, and body kits, but it was all just toppings. Likewise, choices on the CHR are limited to paint color and trim. No all-wheel drive, no manual transmission, and a black interior. The CHR comes in two trims, XLE and XLE Premium. What you see is what you get, and both trims come fairly well equipped. Standard features on the $23,460 XLE include a leather-wrapped steering wheel, a rear-view camera, dual-zone climate control, and a touchscreen audio system with USB and Bluetooth. The $25,310 XLE Premium adds power lumber for the driver, heated front seats, and keyless entry and ignition. That said, sign failed because people didn't care for what the company was selling. Sure, the fact this crossover now has a Toyota badge means it is going to sell by the literal boatloads, the CHR is manufactured in Turkey, the company is expecting to move 30,000 units in 2017, ramping up to 60,000 in 2018. But it's still a vehicle built on science principles, and it's hard to overcome genetics. Those interested in options like navigation, leather, and the moonroof are going to have to look elsewhere.